Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial. At this point, you should have one completed white layer. We will now start the second layer by inserting these four edges. Let's begin. The second layer is the third step of solving a Rubik's Cube. There is one algorithm for this step. This algorithm is actually easier to memorize using a different type of notation, not standard notation. The algorithm is down, towards, down, towards, down, away, up, away, up. Let's learn how to use it. The first thing you want to do is find an edge on the top layer that does not have this color on it. So in this case, yellow. So we need to find an edge that does not have yellow on it, like this one. The next step is turn the top layer until this color matches up with the center, like this. After that, look at this color and look for that center. In this case, it's on the left side. We need to hold this center facing us, like this. Now we can do the algorithm. Down, towards, down, towards, down, away, up, away, up, and that edge gets inserted. Let's do it for another edge. So here's one that does not have yellow on it. So we need to turn the top layer until it matches with the center, like this. Now we look for this colored center. So it's right here. So we need to hold that facing us. Now because the edge is on the left side, we need to do all the downs and ups in the algorithm on the left side, like this. Down, towards, down, towards, down, away, up, away, up. Now we have one more edge to do. So we look on the top for one that does not have yellow on it, like this one, and we turn the top layer until it aligns with the center like this. Now this color is red and the red center is over here. So we hold that facing us and the edge is on the left side so we do the algorithm on the left side. Down, towards, down, towards, down, away, up, away, up. And now our first two layers are solved. Here's one weird case you might have when you're trying to solve the first two layers. You're looking for a piece in the top layer that doesn't have yellow on it, but all of them have yellow on it. This is because the pieces that are required to complete the middle layer are already in the middle layer. They are just not solved. To solve these, first you need to take them out to the top layer and then reinsert them correctly into the middle layer. To take them out to the top layer, just insert another piece in its place. For example, to take this one out, I will insert this piece into here by doing the algorithm. Now that that piece is in there, the piece that was here, the green and red edge, has now been kicked out to the top layer. It's right here. Now you can reinsert this. and that will kick out this edge and you can reinsert this. You do the same thing if you have a flipped edge. Here this piece is already inserted however it is flipped. To flip it just take it out and then reinsert it correctly. The first step in the last layer is getting a yellow cross. There is one algorithm for this step. It is F R U R prime U prime F prime. The part in parentheses is simply the algorithm that was used for the first layer corners. There are four cases you might have. There are four cases you might have for this step. The first is a cross. This means you are finished with this step and you can move on to the next step. 
The second case we might have is a horizontal line. It may also be vertical. If you have a straight line, hold it so that the line is horizontal and then do the algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and you will have the cross. The next case you might have is an L. You must ignore the corners for this step. You have an L. If you have an L, hold the L in the bottom right like this and then do the same algorithm with one change. The F and the F prime will become lowercase f and lowercase f prime. Lowercase means you turn two layers like this. So the algorithm is lowercase f r u r prime u prime lowercase f prime and you'll have your cross. The final case you might have is just a dot. None of these edges are yellow. To solve this case, you simply do both algorithms one after each other. So F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and then lowercase F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and you'll have a cross. The second step in the last layer is completing the yellow face. There is one algorithm for this step. It is R U R prime U R U2 R prime. There are four cases for what you will have on the top face after the completion of the yellow cross. You might have all four corners already yellow. In this case, you can proceed to the next step. You might have one corner already yellow. In this case, you will hold the corner in the top front left like this and then do the algorithm. You might have two corners being yellow. In this case, you will hold the cube so that yellow is right here. So this does not work. This does not work. This does not work. This works because yellow is right there and then you will do the algorithm. The last case you might have is none of the corners being yellow. In this case, you will hold the cube so that yellow is right here. This does not work. This does not work. This does work. And this works as well. So you hold it like this and then do the algorithm. The way you solve this step is you hold it accordingly, do the algorithm, and then reevaluate what you have. I will do example solves quickly. So for this case, you hold it like this, do the algorithm, and now reevaluate what you have. Now I have one, so I hold it like this, and then do the algorithm. And now I have the whole face. For this case, I have one, so I hold it like this, and do the algorithm. and now I have the whole yellow face. For this case, I have two. So I hold it so that yellow is right here and do the algorithm. Now I have only one. So I hold it like this and do the algorithm. I'm still not done. I have one again. So I hold that one over here and I do the algorithm. And now the entire yellow face is finished. The third step in completing the last layer is solving all of the corners. Like this. The algorithm for this step is quite long. It is R U R prime U prime R prime F R2 U prime R prime U prime R, U, R prime, F prime. I've grouped the moves together using parentheses so it is easier to memorize. Here are the cases you might have for this step. What you're looking for to recognize this step is looking for two corners like this that are the same color. 
If all of the corner sets are the same color, then turn the top layer until they all align like this. You can now proceed to the next step. If you look for corner sets that are matching and you only find two that are matching like this, hold them at the left and then do the algorithm for this step. You should now have all of them matching. Now turn the top layer until they all match with their centers. You can now proceed to the next step. Lastly, you might find that none of the corners are matching. In this case, hold the cube however you wish and then do the algorithm once. You should now have two that are matching. Hold them at the left and then do the algorithm again. Then rotate the top layer until all the corners are solved. The last step in solving the Rubik's Cube is solving all of the last layer edges. The algorithm for this step is R2 U R U R prime U prime R prime U prime R prime U R prime Here are the cases you might have for this step. You might have all of the edges solved. In this case, your cube is solved. You might have three of the edges unsolved and one of them solved. In this case, hold it at the back, the solved edge at the back, and then do the algorithm. You might have to do the algorithm twice. If you have all four edges not solved, then just hold the cube however you wish and then do the algorithm once. Now you should have one solved edge, and you hold that at the back, and then do the algorithm again. And again, you might have to do the algorithm more than once. Here are some final tips on memorizing algorithms. Many people say, oh the algorithms will never go into my head, it's too much work. The algorithms shouldn't go into your head, they go into your muscle memory. To memorize them, rather than repeating them over and over in your head, perform them over and over on a cube. This will put the algorithms in your muscle memory much faster. Also, three of the last layer algorithms use the algorithm R U R prime U prime inside of them. This makes memorizing those algorithms a lot easier. When starting out with this method, you should find yourself averaging around two minutes. With some practice, you should be able to average under a minute. However, once you get to a minute, you will have to start transitioning into faster and more advanced methods. If this tutorial was helpful to you, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you can be notified when I release new content. Happy solving!